here's a coaching tip for any wannabe coach or someone who wants to get into coaching or someone who is coaching. Um, predominantly, I'm talking about children. From the youngest to mid-teens to late teens and so forth. Uh, so the, the, the little thing I want to just tap on is today is number one is um, first thing you got to realize when you undertake this um, incredible journey that you're going to have by being in charge of these small minds, these little kids who look up to is your duty of care is to ensure that uh, you understand that you have the responsibility for each and every one of the kids that are under your care. Not just the big ones, not just the good ones, every single one of them. No matter how what level they're at, if they've been uh, registered into your team, if they've been picked from a trial, you have a responsibility to coach them and to improve them. Um, so my, my advice to you is to do your homework. Um, really look into coaching, have a, have a think about um, how you're, you're going to coach and, and, and do your courses and, and learn and make sure you're prepared for what you're about to do and, and what you need to do in order to ensure that you are helping people, helping others. Um, just be aware that this is not the adult game, is not the children's game. Okay, um, you can't treat children the way you treat adults in the adult game. The adult game is a completely different monster. In the adult game, um, the team comes first. In the children's game, the individual comes first, always. Um, so it's important, important that you let go of your ego, um, that you, sh you, you make sure that you don't make this about you and that it's not about um, the results. It's about helping kids to be better versions of themselves. Um, that means equal opportunity. Equal opportunity means um, equal game time. And if it's not equal game time, it has to be proportionate to a level where they um, get a fair go. Um, so you might have a situation where you've got three or four players that are maybe stronger um, than the others and, and, and they make up the framework of the team. So they may play a little bit more, but at the end of the day, um, that doesn't mean the others don't play at all. You know, it's not like you play the game and you just put them on the last 10 minutes, which happens quite often um, in our society. So it's a matter of making sure that everybody gets equal game time. And at the end of the year, what you want to see is an improvement from all of your players, not just from the better ones, because they, they get given the most opportunity to play. Um, the other thing is with children, it's fitness is not necessary. We only train them one or two nights a week. Sometimes you might get three. Um, so any kind of physical work that you do, you can do with a ball. Yeah, so fitness is not necessary, especially when you're limited in, in the amount of time that you're going to have with these kids. What's more important with children is um, enjoyment and developing the skills that they need to be able to play the game um, well with skill. Um, phys the physical aspect shouldn't be, be an issue with, with children. This is why I'm a big proponent of ensuring that, that we keep reducing the size of the field so that running and physical aspect doesn't play a part in it. It's got to be more about the technical side. So that means smaller numbers, smaller size pitches, um, and rather than defining them by date stamps, you know, when they were born, um, but defining them by levels. Their ability, their the physical um, maturity and so forth. Um, one thing I'll say is um, be careful from the sidelines, don't overcoach. You don't need to scream at them all day, every day. You know, your coaching is done during the week. On the weekend, it's a chance for them to put into play what the things are that you've worked on the weekend. So in most cases, they, they, they don't listen to you, they don't hear you anyway because they're too busy playing, and it just puts them under unnecessary pressure. If you are going to shout out instructions from the sideline, make sure that the instructions that you shout out are positive um, and they they are they are valid valid in the sense of the information you're passing on is going to help them not put them down and things like that um just remember that these children you have um a great responsibility look at it in the sense that you have the ability to bring out the best in these kids the ability to 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 determine their destiny on how long they're going to play the game um you don't want to be the guy that you know, some kid turns around and says, my coach destroyed me, you know, regardless of their level. Um, you have to be honest with them. You have to try to instruct them. You have to be able to tell them what they need to do. 
but at the end of the day you need to make sure that you show some compassion and that you uh, exhibit a, a good level of empathy and and love towards what you do and how you treat them so enjoy your time coaching but just be understanding that it is a great great responsibility